Good morning, everybody. I have my isometric view and my multi view here. So I've got my front, my right side, and my top, and my isometric view all on this one page. So I call it a multi view drawing. And we need to do some dimensioning. So I'm going to start on my front view. And that is over here. Let me click to get my little pen up. I'm going to do my width first, so how wide something is. And I actually have to do this little chunk here first. Notice my lines, these are called extension lines, don't come all the way down and touch my part. I just want to get close to it. And I'm telling all my students that each of these is 0.75, and then I draw my little solid arrows here. You'll notice when I do bigger arrows that what it actually looks like, but forgive me for now, that's what it looks like. Then I need to tell everyone how wide this other gap is right here. So I'm going to measure off of this first 0.75 over to my next line. Solid arrow heads again. But now that I've got two little pieces, I could do this other piece that I just circled. But if I do that, I have each individual chunk. I don't want to do that. I'd rather have one overall measurement. And that is just so in case there's an issue or there's an error, um, if I have 0.75, maybe I'm off by a tenth of an inch because I have a terrible ruler. So I'm off by a tenth here and here and here. My overall part can be off by 0.3 or three tenths, which is a lot. So instead, I'm going to extend this extension line up and create an extension line over here and say this whole thing has to be one and a half. So if my error is a tenth of an inch, well now at least my overall piece is only going to be off by one tenth. I want to point something out here. My number is inside uh, these little lines here, inside this arrow. So I have my extension lines that extend to about half a block away from my part. And then I have my dimension lines here where my one and a half is in the middle of that. So I don't want to draw a line through my number. That's obnoxious. Instead, we want to have a break in our line and put our number there. So I've done all of my widths because I know that because I can, I know how wide this part is, 0.75. I know how wide this part is, 0.75. I don't exactly know how far this is, but I can subtract this one and a half and the 0.75 and 0.75 to figure out that this other chunk is also 3 quarters of an inch. Now let's do the height. I'm going to do this in a different color real quick because there's one that I would prefer and then there's one I don't prefer. I'm going to do the wrong one first. So right here, this one's in red because it's the wrong one. I shouldn't do this one. You'll notice I have my extension line again not touching this edge, but I come all the way in and I'm trying to measure the height of this middle block. That meant I had to go through my object. Don't draw through your object unless you absolutely have to, and almost always it's not required. So I'm going to um, actually leave this for a second, and instead I'm going to do in, uh, we'll do green, so that we can say, like, it's good. Right here. This is important. 0.75, solid arrow, solid arrow. You notice again, I'm not touching my object, but I'm getting close to it. And you'll also see that this 0.75 lines up with this red one over here. That's why we like to line up our front and our right side view, so that all of those measurements line up. But really, I don't want the one over here that has to go through my object line. I prefer to have it so that I'm on the outside of my object. So let me erase this bad one, and we'll stick with our good one. I then need to have my overall height, because I've got this first little chunk, but I don't know this other chunk. And I could do it in two places. I could do it on my right side in addition to my original one. So this would be now one and a half. Ooh, I actually did the other one wrong, didn't I? If this one's one and a half, then three blocks wide cannot be one and a half. It should actually be 2.25. My bad. So I'll erase all of that real quick and get that fixed. There we go. All right, so I could put this green one and a half there. I could also put it on my front view. Either of those are perfectly fine. I am allowed to do either of those. I don't want both of them. So you'll look what I have now is I have a one and a half on my right and a one and a half on my left. I can't have both of them. I can only have one of them. There's no sense in measuring the same thing twice. All right, so I'm going to, uh, I'll actually erase the one on my front view, though I typically like keeping the ones on my front. All right, now I need to measure, that was my height, sorry, in green. Now I need to measure my depth or how deep I, my part is from my front to my back. I can only see that on two views. I can see that on my top view, and I can see that on my right side view. 
So since we already have stuff on our right side view, I'm going to do it over there. So I'm going to put this one here, so 0.75, that little chunk, 0.75 for that little chunk. And then I, I know I'm bringing up a lot of just arbitrary rules, but you see how my next one, if I was measuring my overall depth, I'd have to cross through this other extension line. Well, I don't want to do that if I don't have to, right? If I start crisscrossing a bunch of lines, it's going to start getting confusing. And the whole point of all these dimensioning techniques is so we don't confuse anyone. So now I'm actually going to put my overall depth up top right here. And this is, again, just so everybody can see everything as clearly as possible. We don't have lines crisscrossing each other, and, uh, and everything can be nice and pretty. So you'll notice I have three width measurements, two height measurements, and two depth measurements. And if I go through and try and figure out, well, which one is am I missing? Okay, well, ask yourself, do I know how far this piece here sticks out from this piece? Yeah. I know it's one and a half total, and this other part, this piece right here, is 0.75 because it lines up with this piece. Well, that means I can do the math. I can subtract and get this other little chunk. All right, there is one more thing I need to point out, especially this early on. There is no dimensioning going here or over here or all of these spots. So no dimensioning in these areas. So this dimensioning space is between my part and my outside edge of my paper. I don't want a dimension there. If it's towards the edge of my paper, maybe it gets folded, maybe it's you know gets smudged on the edges or something. Either way, we just don't want to put them on the outside. We want to keep them between our pictures. You'll notice all of these are between two different views. We lined everything up so it matches really nice. You saw how I did the one and a half here. It lines up with this one and a half on my front. And same thing with this. 0.75 on this red line here and this 0.75 over here. I want that to be between my views so it's easier to try to see how everything looks, right? See how it all matches up. So it is important we don't draw on the outside of everything. And no dimensioning to hidden lines. That's another big one. No hidden lines. We only want to do it to object lines or the lines that go around our object that we trace our object with. All right, so this is dimensioning, folks. Hopefully it went well. If it did, click that like button down below. And if you want to see more of this, then make sure you subscribe to my channel and turn that bell on so you can get some notifications when I drop a new video. Have a great day, everybody. And remember to not do drugs. Bye, folks.